Welcome to Content Crusaders, the podcast where we save the world one Instagram account at a time by taking ugly brands and make them beautiful in around 20 minutes. Hosted, as always, by Sydney-based content creators Megan and Dominic Lonerigan. We've won a few awards for our blog, Citizens of the World, but more importantly, we make a living doing what we do right here, helping businesses translate their story on social media. Join us as we visit a random geolocation from across the globe, find a business, and hack how to update their social strategy in real time. P.S. guys, we use the term ugly pretty loosely. We just mean businesses who aren't traditionally sexy or easy to photograph beautifully because mm, where's the fun in that? Hello and welcome to the second episode of Content Crusaders. Woo! Woo! Yeah, we thank made it. You, yeah. Thanks so much for coming back. <laughs> Yes, I hope. Welcome, <laughs> Welcome back. back. Um, um, just a reminder, guys, um, that the businesses we feature on this show have no idea we're doing this. And I wanted to give a big shout out to Duncan Oil Propane from Beaver Creek, Ohio, for being such good sports last week. Yeah. yeah. They, they took it on the chin. They shared it. They were really sweet about it. Uh, well, uh, yeah. I hope it was helpful. Uh, hopefully they got some really good information out of it. Hopefully they can use some of it. And sending um, you guys love from Australia. We know things are tough in the US at the moment. So we love you. We have been super busy since our last episode setting up the Content Crusaders Facebook community page. We now have 81 members. Look at the fuck out. Whoop, whoop. Oh, hello. So if you like what we do, jump on there. Um, if you want to discuss episodes, share memes or ask any questions about the world of business social content? So, cool. It's so, Corona time. It's Corona time. Hey, it's Corona time right now. And apart from oh doing God. this, you and I have just been holed up here watching TikToks yes. and giving out our brain leakings for free and watching copious episodes of Tiger King. Tiger King and Community. I'm into Community. Yep. But anyway, okay, cool. Let's but for this. The, ep- the purposes of this episode, we're going to focus on Tiger King because we took our Instagram geolocation all the way down to the home of Joe Exotic. Yes, that would be Wynwood, Oklahoma. <laughs> Are you and ready? Guys, like normal, I uh, haven't seen or had a deep dive at least Mm-mm. into um, this brand. Megan's kind of given me an idea but I haven't had a deep dive into the brand uh, or the product or the service or whatever it is. Uh, so let's go. Where are we Where are we at? Well, get ready, all you cool cats and kittens, because it's compliment sandwich time. And uh, Dom and listeners, I want to direct you to a little Instagram called, it's controversial, but hear me out. Dan, who's editing this, hear me out. Okay, Instagram.com slash grasshopper as in the insect dot cannabis you're right dot company grasshopper <laughs> cannabis <laughs> so it's so it's grasshopper cannabis grasshopper dot cannabis dot company um i want to just ex- give a little explanation for why this ended up on our podcast it was dom it was surprisingly hard to find a business on the Wynwood, Oklahoma geolocation because it ended up just being a profusion of shirtless Joe Exotic Instagrams, <laughs> like blanketing the feed. And I was just scrolling going, come on, baby, come on. It was just Carol Baskin and Joe Exotic. And I was like, okay, I f- the first business I found, I chose and this is it. But I think it's important to flag that even though this is a cannabis company, it's a really good example of a business that might have a captive audience already, cool. but yeah, yeah, yeah. might well, need to capture fresh audiences. Yeah. So Maybe it's hard to pull their attention away. We'll, we'll touch on that. Oh, so do, let's just take a, let's oh, take a quick get, break. Do you get it? Pull their attention. Yeah. Oh, pulling. Get, no. Oh. <laughs> 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 no. 
No. Okay. Because <laughs> okay. I was stoned, but that's cool. Okay, okay. Um, <laughs> also, we sh- Dom and I just wanted – we wanted to um, – I wanted to say, Dom and I, I know it seems really on mm-hmm. brand for Dom and me to be like – into marijuana or know anything about marijuana, but we exactly, actually we're creatives. Yeah, because we're like creative cats. Yep. The point is, is we're not we're not connoisseurs, and we're also parents, so we might sound like massive squares. And it's also good to flag too. We're in a country where uh, marijuana isn't legal except in our state capital, so um, we're coming to this analysis from a country that doesn't have a legal doesn't really have legal weed stores weed marijuana i don't know the word i don't know what to call it yeah so um yeah it's interesting yeah australia doesn't have the length and breadth of uh product that america has australia has weed and that's where it, it starts and finishes Okay, before we like, I like. You picked this subject. Okay, where did you think okay, it was going to go? I just, I don't want to like <laughs> freak out people who are like straighty one eighties. This is not the point of this episode. The point of this episode is to sell something that's unpalatable to some, what, yeah. to everybody. How do you make something that's unpalatable to a certain market and make it attractive? And that is the challenge I have for you. So let's take a little break. And let's delve into the not so good side of the Grasshopper Cannabis Company Instagram. It's Corona time. It's Corona time. All right. So I'm literally just diving on here to have a look through. There's things that I do like. You know, um, Uh, I'm not going to be straight up negative. Really? Well. Because I'm, I'm, this is the first time I'm going to come into this slightly cruel because I'm like. I, like, the, the problem with it is it's not it's not visually. It's not looked, visually. No, it's not. What about you've first looked, impression? You've looked, my first impression is uh, their their top line, their first line cannabis you know, company is perfect. I'd actually potentially change that a little bit because um, you want Are you talking about the bio? I'm talking about the bio, yes. Can you say it for everyone? Yeah, so I'm talking about the bio at the top of the line is is Grasshopper Cannabis Company, mm-hmm. but their username is also Grasshopper Cannabis Company. Uh, what's so, the problem with that? Well, you're, you're just doubling up on something that already exists anyway. So really? you don't really Are you missing to, an opportunity? You're missing an opportunity to use those words as something else. So he could say the best cannabis retailer in Winwood. 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 Really? Yeah. Cause, look, because, look, I'm, I'm old used, school. Like, I want p- that brand to be front and center. You've got it front and center. It's at the top of the page saying Grasshopper Cannabis Company. Okay, okay. So, but so if he said, if his username, right? If mm-hmm. his username was Bill Pincus, mm-hmm. okay, then his bolded name, name. Mm-hmm. could be Photographer Extraordinaire. Oh, can you explain that to, to the listeners too? Because I think a lot of people who use Instagram would be like noticing they're like, they're like the people who do that. They're, they're their username and their their username, and which would be for him would be grasshopper dot cannabis dot uh, company. Yeah, like they're, what's in the URL? What's in your URL? Um, then when they ask you the question, "What is your name?" Mm. Most of the time, most people would go. Well, my name is my URL. Grasshopper name. Cannabis Company. So, but you've only got finite amount of text to put in across your bio of who you are, what you do. So you want to use that to your advantage as much, much as possible. Mm-hmm. And also, much like uh, SEO world on the internet, it searches for specific things. Oh, right. So if you say that you are a photographer and it's within your name, then it's going to come up quicker. That's good. Good intel. So he should – the one thing is he should change that because you're doubling up on something that already exists. Can you suggest a change? Uh, I, would, I would say, you know, yeah, the best drug dealer in – or the best – sorry <laughs> – the best um, cannabis the best supplier. cannabis supplier in Winwood. Okay. If it fits. So for people who can't see it, the bio is 
your friendly neighborhood dispensary in Wynwood, Oklahoma. Like, and that essentially that's the business mission. It's a friendly neighborhood dispensary. Yeah, hundred percent. I really like that. The first impression, though, when I go to this account, it jars me. Uh, say, for instance, I'm a, I am recovering from a medical condition. I've never done marijuana before, and I have no idea what to do. I'm intimidated. Yeah, so, so, I, so, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I think that there is a um, – well, I think, no, there is a uh, – what's the word I'm looking for? A mindset that comes along with marijuana smokers, you know, that they're stoners, they're bongheads, they're – yeah, you know, there is a that's, negative connotation. That's that the comes negative connotation that normal, not normies, normal people. I don't know the general yes. non non marijuana taking yeah. population. So <laughs> what he needs to do is associate his words with a different type of association to reformat people's minds when they read it, read into it. So or, or see it visually, or see it visually because. Um, if he is, and I suppose he should be, selling to people who have glaucoma, it's the one that they glaucoma, always think. Yeah. <laughs> um, anxiety. Anxiety. You know, there should be, possibly, from my end, there should be more of a connection to that and a more of a medical connection to that rather than just come in and get stoned. And, well... but. However, I am saying this in a point where I haven't had a meeting with him and I don't know who his... His or her. His or her audience is. Well... Because he might, he might uh, go... Sorry <laughs> to cut you off. He might go, 90% of my business comes from people... Regular. Regular people who don't have any medical issues at all. Or have very generic. Or have very, do, yeah. very generic. Who, are, who, let's who have gone to the doctor and said, said I, I yeah. have glaucoma. So they're just, they're just like seasoned, I guess, marijuana smokers, you know? so Well, I suppose they're just l- legal. Legal users. Okay. Legal users. So the reason I wanted to delve in, because I feel like this account is halfway there. They get that they have to educate. And if you look through their posts, okay, guys, if you're following along on your phone, it's the one that says breathe. It's the first, yeah, first post. Yeah, at the time of Uh, recording. At the time of recording. And so it's just a little gif that's got smoke going through uh, with breathe. Uh, And the caption is, does does staying in, have you stressed? This study published on the Journal of Affective Disorders examines the inhaling cannabis does, does to short-term levels of, oh, examines and inhaling if it does to short-term levels of depression, anxiety, and stress. Huh? Okay. Okay. It's so not I, worded perfectly. It's not worded perfectly, but he's on the way to, and then it goes on. He's supplying information. Yeah. So it's actually, the caption's fantastic, really. Well, the concept behind the caption's perfect because yeah, he is, he's identified that he needs to provide a reason yes. to buy the marijuana. Yeah. And he's identified that people buy it for more than just shits and giggles. They do it because they need it yep. in some capacity. So um, just looking also at his hashtags. Um, How's that going? One point with hashtags and one thing that Instagram really works across in your hashtags, uh, especially nowadays, is the content that you are putting forward and the content that you're putting out or creating, um, the hashtags that go with it should align with what the content is. So you're saying Instagram has a program that looks at the image essentially and checks that the hashtags match the image. So it's in your interest to hashtag quite literally. 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 Uh, Literally. (laughs) And the other thing that they do, so... They will, they will, uh, they have all face recognition. Yeah. Right. And faces uh, uh, work a lot better on Instagram for mm-hmm. the algorithm mm-hmm. uh, and for getting likes and all that kind of stuff. So looking to camera is always uh, something to go for. Um, they have an algorithm that if you are seen to be with, so. Megan and I are seen to be with each other on Instagram a lot and we would tag each other on our personal accounts, say. I don't really have a personal account, but I've got Tom and Glenn again. 
But if I was to tag Megan on Dominic Loner again, we are building a relationship at an at a Instagram relationship, mm-hmm. um, which algorithm would see. They would also then build up uh, the. They would build us up into a point where our they would go. They would tag us basically as being super friends. Yeah. So they would see that we are super friends mm-hmm. and then the people who we follow would be targeted towards the other person. Wow. Does that make sense? Kind of. So my followers yeah. or my followings mm-hmm. would be targeted towards your content because we're mates. Oh, right. Right. Those creepy fuckers, right? <laughs> so having real relationships – and having social relationships is what they are looking for in terms of this algorithm on Instagram. Okay, Einstein, can we bring this back? <laughs> I don't know, maybe. <laughs> can we bring <laughs> it back to these guys? We get slightly back, no pun intended, yeah. to, to this cannabis company yeah. and their hashtags yes. and their friends. Yes. So give me some advice on their hashtags. What would you do instead? Would you create a branded hashtag? I would I would still stick with a branded hashtag. I, I would say nowadays to create a hashtag that works within a specific thing for that. If you have multiple... Can you suggest some? Uh, so if he's got multiple products, right? So it could be... I don't know much about but weed. I, I don't know. But <laughs> go, um, the Pineapple <laughs> Express is the only one I know. Because okay, yeah, okay. of the movie. Yeah. Um, but he could have his grasshopper business, hashtag Pineapple Express. Yeah, okay. So then he might have a group of clients who freaking love Pineapple Express. Yeah. And then when he receives an order, he can go, hashtag Pineapple Express. His clients can follow that hashtag and go, oh my God, it's fucking in. Yes. Okay. okay. All right. Cool. So weed, hashtag weed, hashtag marijuana, hashtag pineapple express. <laughs> hashtag. Hashtag get high. Let's get high. <laughs> hashtag Getting Joe high. Rogan. Uh, rolling blunt, rolling okay, fatty. Okay. All right, break. <laughs> so. Let's uh, keep critiquing. All right. So the content kind of goes... We were riffing yeah. on the page being just... It's a kaleidoscope of colours and schemes and themes. Yeah, it's just all a bit all over the place. I Like, I know what they offer. They are a cannabis company, you know, so that's straightforward. I mm-hmm. know what a cannabis company offers. They offer, you know, numerous Legal strains access of access to, to weed or government marijuana. Um, taxed marijuana. So I'm just looking at this. Uh, it's a photo of mar- marijuana oil. So grasshopper, it's one of the oil pouring into the hands. hands. Anyone so listening? It's that's it's the oil pouring, pouring into, into the, the hands, hands post. Uh, it's a brown bottle with a fake marijuana leaf uh, retouched onto it. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's stock imagery. So the caption is: Debbie's doctors have said she's had one of the worst seizure patients they've ever seen. What is surprising is how well medical ma- cannabis has helped. So it's it's informative. She or he has got captions the concept behind it down it's providing a service yeah so yeah. they've identified they provide a service yeah so i think that they're on the right wavelength they just need to think about the overall feed and okay. pick a style and a tune okay that works with that cohesion i love that one that image that oil image it's really beautiful it's natural light mm-hmm. um it's it's very natural. It's very earthy. It's very, mu- you know, and the colors are right. So that is something that I would kind of stick to. Okay, ad break, and we're going to jump into solutions. Okay, solutions time. Normally at this point, we would supply three actionable things that a business can do to improve their first impression on social. I don't know, just have three things for this. I've, I've, got, got, a lot. I've got a library I've got a of things. Lot. I've actually got I've actually got a really good one, which I, All right, I you, thought of. You're yeah, busting. I can tell. Busting. Okay, let it out. Okay. So hopefully this person is, but typically your weed dealer <laughs> isn't someone that you typically want to hang out with or have a conversation with. This is evident from films like <laughs> Pineapple Express. Tom's watched a lot of movies. <clears throat> it's a good film. Okay. 
Um, I'll go there. So you, you know, you know, it's you normally just wanna, you so just want to get you get. Get, get your, your gear. Get your gear. Get your drugs. Um, you know, <laughs> get your your medical marijuana. marijuana and leave, right? Yeah. If he is a normal, straight up, interesting person mm-hmm. uh, who can speak well on camera, mm-hmm. he's in a perfect position to take that to a person you would want to hang out with. <gasps> so if he is that He bird, could be the weed dealer you want to hang with. Yeah. Oh, my God. And that could be his niche. Yeah. So, if he just or did her. some real – her, if he, he or her did some really interesting, you know, factual commentary about marijuana and the benefits of it, mm-hmm. that would be cool. So, two options here. I'm going to build on that idea. You've got two options. You either find someone in the business or the owner of the business who can be the face of the company, who yeah. could be the world's nicest weed dealer. Yeah. And I think the thing is as well, the thing is as well is we're, we're trying to flip flip the attitude of what weed is typically thought of. As like a shady as a shady, thing. As a shady. We, so if you've got someone who, they don't have to be wearing a suit or anything, but I'm just saying, you know, that they are, they're presentable. Looks like your next door neighbor. You know, it looks friendly. like a normal bloke and they're, you know, or woman or whatever. And they're talking normally normally about a off color product. Mm-hmm. You would gain a huge following because normal Joe Blow would, it'd be kind of like a, 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 a 16 year old kid walking into a triple X pawn shop. Wow, we're really going there. I'm going there. Well, okay. we're talking about weed, right? Okay, so, okay. But, you know, like you, you're nervous about going into it. Or it's kind of like a kid going and buying condoms, right? You'd be nervous. You'd be uncomfortable about going and doing it, right? Yeah. But if you had – if you A relatable, a relatable character. A relatable person who you know who you're going to and they're like, oh, you know, like this is – no, don't be worried. Don't be afraid. Don't be – you know. It's all good. You, Here, do you want some tips on it? Yeah. I can give you some tips. I can give you top three things to do or how to you're do You're already this. feeling mm-hmm. the relief. And so that anxiety that you'd have about going in and buying it because... And this is 100% why I wanted to do this business because I wanted to tackle a business that had a very clear barrier for entry. And cannabis for some people does have a high barrier for entry. So either pick someone from the business who is super relatable or the owner who can talk on camera, but... As a solution, if you're a business who doesn't have anyone who can talk on camera, this is when you need either a videographer or someone who's got very good video skills who can create very easily digestible 30-second or 15-second video clips. 100%. With the, words and the other one is stock just, imagery. Um, the other one is just the benefit, you know, just little tiles, graphic tiles with the benefits of, of marijuana are written over the top. Yeah. You can't just do all video. You need to do video stills, you know, graphic tiles, all that kind of stuff. So one thing I did want to say just further of what I was saying is, Mm -hmm. you know, if one of the comments was Debbie, you know, Debbie... uh, Had a car crash. Debbie had a car crash or or Deb's doctors, Mm -hmm. you know, a lot of this, a lot of, you know, this process could be my mum mm-hmm. going and buying weed for me because I had anxiety. Or oh, your mum had cancer. My mum had cancer, right? So she could be going and buying. And she y- is I'm not talking to your mum yes, right now. This is, is what I'm doing be, this yeah, for. She is not going to be the person who's going to She's never going to go into this shop. No, because it is too druggy. Yes, I want to change this so it appeals to both regular users yeah. and your mum. Yeah. Well, I think I think the general user doesn't care. Doesn't care. And that's the benefit of hey, cannabis grasshopper cannabis company, you're in a sweet spot. Yeah. Because I assume weed people will buy weed from anywhere that's good. Legal. But you want to appeal to Dom's mum. Yeah. Or anyone who suffered from cancer. Yeah. So And they want to feel confident that they can go in there and and you're professional. And you're professional and not going to ask weird questions about uh, what Doritos you like or something. I don't know. (laughs) Maybe maybe the third meeting, you know, you do that, but not the first one. All right. (laughs) Okay, let's take it down to Pillar Town. <laughs> okay, guys, if you are unfamiliar with the word pillars, this is what we use when we describe content pillars. So we mean 
think of... <laughs> this is the one word out of the two words. No. <laughs> the word pillar is kind of like imagine poles, tent poles. So you have your brand up the top, your branded Instagram account, and all the little tiles are little poles, tent poles underneath, content pillars. So we try to think of, say there's three squares in a row, we try and think of like at least five or three at least. Well, you've got to remember that you're trying to fill, if you break it down into a month's worth of content. 30, 28 right, to 30 pieces of content. Let's say 30 days, right? We're trying to break it down to 30 pieces of content. Oh, I love it when you talk to Oh, me. talk those maths numbers. Yeah. <laughs> you can have a plan where you either create uh, 10 graphics a month, 10 photos a month and 10 videos a month. Typically, you're not going to get that many videos depending on what your product is. If you can get 10 videos. Great. Wow. Awesome. But typically, you're not going to get that much because they're expensive. They take longer to edit, longer to create. So, you'd probably aim for maybe four. So One a week. And then you're wanting to create uh, photos so you could get photos as well. Mm-hmm. Either of the store or so you could of do someone of the store. You could do in this, this in this context, someone selling it or someone yeah, on packaging. the corner. I reckon would be good. <laughs> no, I mean in store, someone talking to a customer. Yeah, I think packaging. in hand, in hand, you know, showing it in hand, showing how to roll. Yep. You know, just beautifully lit, really dark, moody. Oh, I can see it now. Yeah, and <clears throat> so that's one content pillar, but that's. So, You've That's got, the so, medium. So You're talking about the medium. I'm talking, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm just trying to also just break it down for them as well. So you, so you've got that, and then for the actual physical content that's going to go into those, which would be your pillars. This is where I, this is where I shine, right? Yeah. So you've got the medium worked out. You've got like a certain percentage of video content, certain percentage of stills, and maybe some gifts. Yep. I don't know, something yep. like that. Yeah. Now we need to think of content pillars as in pieces of content. This is this is the why someone follows you. And this always boils down to the why. Why would your mum follow the Grasshopper Cannabis Company? Well, she wants information. She's never done it before. She's never rolled a joint before. And she would like some information on why it's beneficial to her. She also would probably want to think that she's not going to get addicted to it. So there's lots of reassurance. reassurance. Yep. So I say a percentage of your content, Grasshopper, should be about reassurance and comfort and giving people a sense of security in using your product and how it will not impact on their life negatively. Yeah. So I think reassurance... Is a big reassurance is a big so that's one. That's one pillar: reassurance it's and security. Content. Reassurance content. That's one tent pole. Yep. The next one I think I would focus on is how tos. Massive one because. Yep. And that's an easy one. Lots of people who are your mum, for instance, and for the for Gabriel, if you're watching this, I know that you would never do this, but we're just using you as an example. Yeah. <laughs> like she would, she might. Never have tried it at university. No one never talked her through it. So you could have the friendly grasshopper guy going, okay, 30 seconds. I'm going to give you a little rundown on how to... Make a cross joint. I have never... (laughs) I don't know what to say, but maybe inhale for the first time, (laughs) I guess. And how to do it without coughing or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's how to... that's That's your second pillar. Could be super basics. Super basics, but, you know... And then you could ask in that content, hey, any suggestions from the community? So then you're, mm. you ha- open things up for people who are seasoned professionals yep. to yep. go, oh, my God, no, when I do it, I do it this way. Or, so you've got that or discourse. My, or my mum who's four weeks down the line and has tried it mm. and now is a part of the community and can help other people. the new young per- or old person coming through oh and being God. like, but th- I think that that's a big I Facebook community. I freaking love that. That you know. is like a whole Facebook community. Now, yeah. Grasshopper, you could branch off into Facebook communities where your customers could help each other on their journey to learning how to weed. Smoke. I guess. How to weed. I don't know. They're not, 
Gardening. <laughs> I don't know much. <laughs> How to smoke? I know much. I know a lot of stuff. Well, and just what 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 work like what works well because you know there's all different types of marijuana mm-hmm. and some are better for other things. So if Mum has gone through cancer and chemo, she might go, "Hey, Deborah, mm-hmm. this was amazing for me when I was going through what you were going through." Exactly. And that is gold. That's money in the bank. If you've got your community talking and helping other people going. You don't even have to sell. You don't even have to sell because Deborah's selling it to your mum. Or, or your mum. My mum. Or your <laughs> yeah, mum yeah, selling mom. it to Deborah. My mum. <laughs> so, yes. Okay. Cool. All right. Third pillar. Do we have a third one? So we've got reassurance. We've yep. got how to's. Mm-hmm. Um, I would say product. Product, yeah, totally. What are the benefits of each? I don't know much about weed strains, but I know that there are different types that are great for different things. Mm, mm, there are a lot. I don't know. It's kind it's of like I know that um, seasoned marijuana smokers are kind of like wine drinkers. Like they they are very into connoisseurs. it. Connoisseurs. Mm, yeah, mm, they can tell mm, by the smell. Mm, mm, how so sticky it is. Posts about the, the smell and what that's like and – Really paint the picture for people. So you got three content pillars right there mm-hmm. to work with. Oh, and then um, and then personality. Mm. So relationship of him, of him or the owner or or the the, the staff the in staff store or the talent. Yeah, and and personality is going to kind of spread across all of them. Yeah, and you want to keep that thread, yeah. and so that ties back into tone of voice and personality of the brand. But I love their tone of voice so far. Their it, tone it of is voice good. is really good. It just good. needs like, some tidying up a little bit. Yeah. It, and presentation. It needs. Because uh, it's a big block of text and a lot of the captions. Guys, if you're listening or watching, if you go into the posts for grasshopper.cannabis.company, a lot of the posts are big chunks of text. They're big paragraphs. And there are a lot of, if you Google uh, line spaces, line space editors for Instagram, there are a ton of websites that you can just put the copy into and it will line space your Instagram captions. So it's really nice for formatting for brands. Hmm. I yeah. did not know that. I use it all the time. That's good. Um, just quickly, yeah, we were touching on fonts. I would recommend a nice Montserrat or something with a nice Helvetica or yeah, an Arial. I think, I think the point is, is they need to change away a little bit from the quintessential I'm a stoner marijuana smoker. Oh, my God. 100%. 100%. I reckon that's the hashtag. The marijuana smokers will buy marijuana no matter what, but you want to capture the freshies. Yep. And if the fresh, if you build it, they will come. Pretty if you much. make it attractive, Pretty they much. will come. Yeah. All right. We we could be here all night, guys. But instead of being here all night, we're just going to go through our, through our voicemails. Because you know. Oh, you've got voicemails. You know that we set up a voicemail account for um, the podcast. So if you disagree or if you have any feedback, if you hate us, if you love us i can't believe you've got this you can call us and tell us because yeah. realistically they could just email us and tell us uh, no anyway. i want to hear your voices if call us with any feedback or tips or any ideas I, it's all it's all love here it's all about helping people yeah we like to talk so i like to talk so I, i'm more than happy to have a chat with you all but, right and Let's, make sure you leave your number too because we'd like to give you a call back all right say good day we we've got one we got I'm pretty excited oh uh, hang on hang on is this? Yeah. Thanks for demystifying the whole PR process. And you did oh, it in mom. such a considerate, <laughs> kind, and giving way. Lots to learn, oh. lots to do. Very, very helpful. Thank you, Wendy, for her next uh, <laughs> Instagram business that she's going to put out. Oh. <laughs> Oh, thanks, my Wendy. Mom. You know what? You can always count on your mom. All right. If you want to be like my mom and leave us a voicemail, or if you don't agree with what we have to say, or if you agree with what we have to say and you love us, leave us a voicemail. The number is plus six one eight six one one seven eight four four eight. I'll give that number again. It's plus six one eight six one one seven eight. 448. Leave us a message and we'll play you next episode. Booyakasha. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Uh, please do like Megan says and call us. Call us or if <laughs> I forgot to mention, 
do follow us or join the group at uh, Content Crusaders Podcast Community. We're On there Facebook. to share memes. That's Facebook. Oh, yep. Yep. We're there to share memes and, and have fun. Citizens Content. Oh, yeah. Citizens Content is our parent company. Or you could email us at hello at citizensoftheworld.cc, which is our parent parent company. Oh my God. So <laughs> many parent companies. <laughs> we're like. We're like the Trumps. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, uh. Uh. Alrighty. Love you guys. See you later. Bye. Bye.